from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2018. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to theCUBE's continuing coverage of VMworld 2018. I'm Lisa Martin with Dave Vellante. Hey Dave. Hey Lisa, how's it going? Good, Dave. Good to see too. you back here again. Exactly. Bouncing between the sets. I am. 94 guests, it's good. Uh, in three days, yeah. yeah. We've, we've learned a lot already and we're nearing the end of day two. Excited to welcome two new guys to theCUBE. We've got Colin Duroche, product manager from Dell EMC, and Sandra Bertelli, global product manager at Telefonica. Gentlemen, it's nice to have you here. Great to be here, first time on theCUBE. So, first time on theCUBE, 20th anniversary of VMware, lots to celebrate, lots going on. From a, an announcement perspective, momentum perspective, Colin, let's start with you. What are some of the, of the, the trends, the market trends, the customer voices that you're hearing regarding data protection and its criticality in this multi-cloud world in which all these enterprises now live? Sure, um, I think we have to put it into context with uh, the growth of the cloud. Right, the cloud is growing exponentially, um, and, and data protection is one of the leading use cases. I think uh, IDC did a survey recently, 58% uh, of people using the cloud are doing data protection in the cloud. Uh, backup and recovery is the number one use case. Uh, so that's one trend. Another trend is, uh, I mean, more specific to VMworld and, and VMware. Um, their vCloud provider program is or the business unit is one of the fastest growing business units at VMware. They're having incredible success, uh, built on the back of fantastic products. And uh, so what we've done is, uh, about a year ago actually, at VMworld last year, we formed a three-way partnership between Telefonica, VMware, and Dell EMC uh, to provide a, a turnkey solution for cloud providers to um, deliver data protection as a service. So, I wonder if we can talk a little bit about Telefonica and your business and how it's evolved, say, over the last, I don't know, pick a time frame, decade, half, better part of a decade, how is it evolving and changing? You know, it's a long partnership that you have between Dell EMC and Telefonica and VMware. So we start many years ago launching the new versions of EGC 2.0, 3.0, and now evolving to 4.0. So was not so easy in doing this journey to improve our service catalog to our customers. And right now, if the VGC 4.0, if the new interface of the Cloud Director 9.x is in uh, VAMAR in data protection software of EMC, we are increasing a lot the uh, functionality to our customers and increasing the user experience of our customers. This is uh, very valuable to our customers in this new approach of the VGC 4.0. So if you think about if you go back to the early days of virtualization, everybody sort of took you know, 10 servers and put, brought them down to one, which is great because all the compute power was underutilized. But of course the one job that needed all that compute power was backup. Sure. <laughs> and sure. so you had, you, then you saw data protection change to accommodate that. Okay, and customers re-architected, et cetera. Now we enter the cloud era, we're knee deep in it. How is data protection changing, whether it's architecturally or processes to accommodate multi-cloud? Maybe Colin, you could start. Mm. Well, <clears throat> so I think you know, another trend that we're seeing is a move from managed services to more of a self-service delivery, right? So uh, providers like Telefonica want to enable their tenants to access data protection as a service. And that has, that has some, certainly some architectural uh, impacts to it, um, and uh, you know I think that's what's really behind this announcement that we're making here at uh, at VMworld. So in the most important to mention it is the an example about talking about the VGC. It's not just a infrastructure as a services platform. It's a everything as a services platform. So more than this, you are putting to our customer the edge value services. For example, data protection. Data protection is very important. So our idea in the user experience is to change the customer's life easy. So it's with the new portal, as a self-service portal for data protection, the customers right now can do everything in the VDC. It is was just was possible within the, our alliance in the part partnership between VMware and Dell EMC, develop, developing together the new integration, Avamar integration using the API for the Cloud Director for the new version is very valuable to us. So in terms of, of impact, 
Give us an example, Sandra, of how this three-way partnership that Telefonica has with Dell EMC and VMware, how is it impacting not just your customer's business, but Telefonica's business? How is it enabling your transformation from a top-line perspective? For sure, uh, I think that what we are thinking right now with Dell EMC and VMware is the model that must be followed by the other manufacturers because we are creating the future if there is integration between uh, data protection software of Dell EMC and, and VMware. And the impact is directly to our customer because in our oldest versions, the customers, when it needs to require some, uh, for example, historic procedures, need to talk to someone in Telefonica to ask them. So right now, it's immediately through the self-service portal. And this is very important to us, to increase the user experience and our customer experience. This is very valuable to us. So customer experience improves. How have you been able to expand sure. your customer base globally leveraging this partnership? For example, VDC and Telefonica is just better to talking about our business. We are the most important de uh, deployment of VMR around the world. We are more than eight countries around the world in South America and Europe running the VDC software. And this is very valuable to us because evolving our global catalog if this and using the Avamar data protection software, producing the, uh, the TCO to us and to our customers using, for example, the deduplication and the new functionalities in the, in the solution is very good to, to us and to our customers. So vCloud Director, maybe you could drill into that a little bit in terms of like, how it's impacted your business, uh, how, what, talk, talk more about the value that it brings to not just you, but to your customers. Jesus Christ, it was not so easy during that time. <laughs> you know, we are using vCloud Director Science at the beginning of our global product and global strategy. So following during these years, with the oldest version, we have a lot of limits in the vCloud Director right. interface. So right now, using the vCloud Director 9 in the cloud extensions, the cloud uh, director uh, availability, so this is, our is very valuable to us because the VMware changed a lot the user exchange interface. And the older interface was very ugly to other customers. So right now, vCloud Director 9.1 and 9.x is very good interface. And in the same way, improving the user experience and the quality of our services. So the business impact is it's, it's simpler to manage, so saving time so people can... Sure, well, and I, integration. I think you have to think about how do uh, service providers like Telefonica differentiate themselves, right? Um, a cloud provider that, that only offers infrastructure as a service, they're getting their margins squeezed, right? So they, they have to bring in these value-added services. And how do they do that better than the others? They differentiate themselves through a better user experience, which means you know, the way the user interacts with the product. Also it means uh, it comes down to the cost, right? So that goes directly to the service provider's bottom line. They're able to pass that on to their customers. Uh, and then also performance and scale, right? So these are, these are really very, very important points. Sure. And, um, and that's what I think uh, our partnership is all about. How do you guys go to market? Is it a, 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 a three-way, two-way? What, what's the go-to-market strategy? So our strategy is our strategy is not to do not compete with the hyperscaler providers. Right. If you are a VTC, you have our own services running in our own data centers and combining with our global network infrastructure, you can provide the better service to our customers in a local perspective, with a local billing, local support, and this partnership with Dell EMC, uh, you are consuming uh, Dell EMC software and technologies many years ago. So we are evolving our service in this way, and this is the right thing that to do right now, to do not to differentiate us between the hyperscalers providers. And, and you were, oh sorry, go ahead Colin. Well I was just going to add to that, that in terms of our go-to-market, uh, we've made a, a very big announcement here at uh, VMworld 2018, which is that VMware, the VCPP business unit, is actually uh, selling Dell EMC data protection to their service providers. So this is actually, our, our goal is to really make it a native uh, feature of vCloud Director built right in. So v, the VMware Cloud uh, 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 Provider business unit is essentially OEMing, reselling your product. Yep. Which ultimately makes it into Telefonica. Sure. Right? And the way that they're doing that is actually really interesting because it adds value for us in the sense that um, they allow service providers to pay by the drip. So the way that we sell it is very different than, than other routes to market that we have. 
uh, and something that I think is of, of a, lot, a lot of value to service providers like Telefonica. So that's a, you say it's paid by the drip, by that you mean it's a monthly It's a monthly service? per protected VM, very simple, um, very simple business model. You, they pay you know, a certain number of cloud provider points uh, for one offering, a different amount for the other offering, and it's paid in arrears on a monthly basis based on what they've consumed. And I can cancel any time, it's not like I got to buy three years in advance? Or? <laughs> no, absolutely. Uh, okay. Absolutely. So we've been hearing a lot, we hear this a lot, better together, right, David? Every event and every aspect of life, there's a lot of things that are better together. What, I'm curious, Colin, from your perspective, um, Dell EMC, VMware, lots of change in the last few years. Absolutely. How is this, you know, we talked about the value stream is the go to market. How are you seeing your customers embracing and feeling what Dell EMC and VMware are doing as really better together? How do you simplify the complexities that all these customers are living in with this partnership? So I can say that you know, over, the, over the course of history, we've had a lot of uh, co-engineering partnerships right, between Dell EMC and VMware. Uh, I mean, I could probably name five or six of them. Uh, and there's a number of them happening right now. This partnership, uh, or this aspect of it, is a little bit different because there's a sales and marketing aspect to it. So that's, that's taking the partnership to a next level. Never before has VMware sold Dell EMC product, right? So that's... It's pretty groundbreaking. Yeah, this is, a, this is the next step in Better Together. Um, and for our customers, I mean, there's been an incredible response. We had uh, service provider roundtables on Sunday. A lot of excitement about this, and actually I, I heard uh, two service providers have actually decided to, to go with this based on the fact that, that we have this partnership. So. That's amazing for us. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And then in terms of, of the evolution of, of the partnership of the technology, where, what's the customer feedback loop, if you will? How are they helping to influence the direction that the technology goes? I think that uh, evolving the catalog and making the customer's life easy and providing the new functionalities, the new features uh, in a simple, easiest mode is the very valuable to our customers. As uh, more than providing the ears and platform as a service, more added value of service to the customers, the management services, the multi-cloud environments. So what are the goal is to make put all together, providing the hybrid cloud, uh, multi-cloud solutions to our customers. This is valuable, this is as what our customers asking to us and claiming to us today around the world. Well, you mentioned your eight presence in 80 countries. In many, uh, our virtual data center are present in 80 countries, seven in Americas, and none in Europe. Was this possible before the VMware, Dell EMC, Telefonica? No, no, you are evolving together. It was not uh, easy before. <laughs> it's not possible to do it alone before. So a lot of growth. What's next? Where do you go from there? You got 80. <laughs> Where do you go from there? No, I believe that. Yeah. Our strategy is to still evolve in the catalog, increasing the partnership between the RMC and VMware, and increasing the, uh, putting together this new ecosystem in the integration between the vCloud Director API, with the cloud extensions in Avamar and data protection software. I think that this is the way, this is the goal, this is the, our, uh, the process that are moving now to do uh, in that the other uh, manufacturers that are parts of our ecosystem is the VDC 4.0. So you got a, a couple of breakout sessions tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Give us like the th top three takeaways that the attendees will glean from your session. Oh gosh, <laughs> the tendencies? So kind of the, the key takeaways, what are they going to learn? So I think uh, at least one of the sessions that Sandra's participating in is, uh, is actually a data protection session. Yeah. Uh, so it's a, it's a general session covering all of our recent announcements, uh, our technology, kind of a thought leadership type of thing, and using uh, Telefonica's experience with uh, the vCloud Director extensions uh, as, a, as a, a testimonial, an example uh, to share with that the- validation. Uh, the validation sure. to share with the other customers. Bringing together some of the hot topics at the show, obviously cloud, data protection, is, you, know, you walk around the floor, everybody's talking about data protection. That's what it's all about, and yeah. It, and so, great, congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Colin, Sandra, thanks so much for joining David and me on theCUBE and sharing with us what you guys are doing with this partnership. We appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. you so much, thank you. Thank you, Dave. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE. We are continuing day two of VMworld 2018. I'm Lisa Martin with Dave Vellante. Stick around, we'll be right back. <laughs>